Hey Scott Crow from Imagine Grove. I want to give you a couple other tips for installing drawer fronts. Um, in my last video I talked about how I normally do it is using a hot glue gun. So if you have some calibrated spacers, you put the spacers in between working from the bottom up and you can put a dab of hot glue on the drawer, on the drawer front and then kind of stick this, get it all aligned. Once it grabs it allows you to open the drawer with the drawer front exactly in place and that works great. Then you put your screws in, then take the drawer front off, take off the hot glue, and you're good to go. Um, in this case, I can't do that for a variety of reasons. These drawer fronts get leather and the, the panel is recessed, so there's too much of a gap between the drawer and the back of the drawer front so the hot glue won't grab. So I'm going to go and do this traditionally with using centering pins. Centering pins. These are little sort of uh, dowels with a pin on it. And what you do is you uh, drill your drawer screw hole, and you want that oversized, so when you put your, your screw in, there's a little room for it to move around, right? <clears throat> so you can make adjustments that way. You loosen the screw and you can slide the drawer front relative to the drawer around up and down, usually a millimeter or two gives you the adjustment. Um, so that's how we're gonna do it. These undermount slides also have adjustment. They have little slots that allows you to raise the entire drawer up and down. And the advanced versions have side to side and tilt adjustments. All is great. I still drill my holes oversized. So I'm gonna take my dowling, dowling centers here, put them in place. Take my drawer, set this properly spaced line up the, the left to right and just kind of whack it a little bit and that should give me a very small dot right and that's where I want to my, my screw to be because that will be this the center of the hole so from there um, I will pre-drill that hole just ever so slightly so there's no wander. And let's do that if I can see, which I can't work in uh, this way for you guys. There we go. Okay, so from there, I want to take my centering pins out. And I want to put my screws in. In this case, I take my screw through the hole, just kind of visually line it up with that pre-drilled hole, and now I know I'm, I'm in pretty good shape on my alignment. Don't screw that first one in all the way because you need to be able to sort of pull this drawer front out to be able to line that up with the other side. And we should be good to go. At that point, I can now um, adjust my drawer front because I got an oversized hole. You know, I put this in, the drawer dropped down a little bit. So I can simply loosen this screw and raise this front up just a hair. Again, I like to save the drawer slide up and down and side to side adjustments for the very end. That gives me final uh, tuning, but this gets me a lot closer. And oh, 
I knew something was wrong. It's touching my spacers. Get the spacers out of there. Not like live TV, right? There we go. The last trick that I want to show you is, so I have four screws in here. I just put the screws in the, in the uh, top hole. I now need to put a screw in the bottom hole. If I just go ahead and take a screw and ram it in there, it's not going to be dead center, meaning because the screw could spin around and wander around and go to one size, then eliminating any left to right up and down adjustment within that screw hole. So I use what's called a VIX bit. This is a VIX bit. This is for drilling holes in hinges, right? If you have a countersink hinge, same sort of concept. You want a pilot hole dead center of that countersink. So it has a sleeve that slides up and down and that will allow you to drill a pilot hole dead center in a larger hole. So that's what I'm going to do here. Simply And I don't need a, a big pilot hole. I just want sort of a, uh, just a very small, shallow hole so the screw tip won't wander around. At that point, I can now put my screws in. And we're good to go. So I hope that helps. That's my uh, alternative uh, tip to how I install drawers with a little hole and a pilot hole thing. I do that every time. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Imagine Grove, my educational site, or Imagine Woodworking is my uh, big portal that has access to everything else I do. And um, thanks for watching. Uh, continue checking out my social media sites. I'll be uh, posting this. These get a stingray skin called Chagrin uh, front and then a pommelie sapili and the custom the custom poles that I've been making and there's a little sort of rough sample of the Chagrin that goes on there. So this gets stained very dark contrast with the, uh, the beige Chagrin and the pommelie sapili. It's going to look stunning. Got a bedroom set and a four poster bed going along with this project. Thanks for watching.